Hello. Today I'll be teaching you how to modify music files in Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. You're going to want XAct, PAXCF, Audacity, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax's root folder, or an easy way to access it, and the GeoArcSys all in one tool, which will allow you to encrypt and decrypt files from Persona 4 Arena Ultimax from Arc System Works. You're also going to want the song you're using to replace music and a way of knowing what songs you're replacing. I have a list here that was provided by a user. I will list this in the description as well as the other links to tools. To start, you're going to want to go into your root folder here. You're going to open the GeoArc system tools. Let's close out a couple of these tabs. You're going to want to go to Batch, Crypt, Game. You're going to take Asset and drag it on the P4U2. You're going to only do this if you're new to modding, by the way. So you do that, and a command window open. I don't need to do that right now. I've done that once already. So you're going to want to go to Data. If you excuse me here, I need to re-delete some of this stuff. And you're going to want to find the Sound folder. You only need BGM. This will have all the files in here that you'll be modifying. Now, I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to leave this here. Those are good tabs to have open for the future. The next step you're going to want to do is go into Audacity. I'm going to insert the song I'm using to replace. Now, you're going to want to set the project rate down here to 48,000. Usually, you'll want to extend your song, either if you're finding a loop point and basically copying and pasting that. But I'm not going to be doing that today. This is just a demonstration. And you usually want to extend the song to at least 5 minutes, because most matches won't go past that, since each match is a max of 99 seconds. And then after you've done all your extensions, anything you want to modify with maybe the volume, your next four is WAV, and you're going to want to title it eight zeros for your name. I have a file here at all times so that I don't have to always retype in all the zeros. Place it. Okay. It's exporting it. And you don't need to save. Open up XAct. Make a new project does not matter where you're naming it. What matters is that when you did a wave bank step, that you get the title, which is in category B here, the actual file name that you're replacing. Go to new wave bank, paste that, go to compression presets. Do new compression preset, does not matter if you name it. Go to samples per block, don't touch anything else here, just go here. Go back, take this, you could drag it in there, or you could do right click insert wave files. I personally just drag, click this, right here, back in your wave bank, click compression preset, and click compression preset, or whatever you named it, and you'll notice this changes to ADPCM. Now go ahead and click this button right here, which will build your project, finish, and there you go. Now, you should have a couple files on your desktop. You don't need to touch any of this, but know this is located in your desktop window. And this would be an XAct XWB file. Open up pack FC. Open. So here's what I'm going to double do. Double check. You're going to want to be able to access your file folder that has all the files for Persona 4 Arena Ultimax decrypted. And this is, of course, data sound BGM. Now, as you remember, it's 246, battle random. Type that in. Sometimes they have duplicate numbers but different names, so watch out for that. Click OK. Now click Replace. Go to your desktop, go to Windows, go to 246 Battle, and you'll successfully replace it. You're done here.
Now, what I do is sort by date modified. As you can tell, it's already done that. Awesome. Outstanding. It's going to create a backup. You can, you're free to delete that backup. Now you're going to want to open your GeoArxis tools. I already have the page. The same thing that you use to decrypt your game, you're also use it to encrypt. So take this file only, drag it over here onto crypt, let it crypt it. You're going to have a string of numbers. Take that string of numbers, throw it in your asset folder. That's going to be under P4U2, asset. It's going to ask you want to replace it, and that's how you know you've done it right. If it spits out random text and you try to throw it in your asset folder and it doesn't ask you to replace it, you've done something wrong. Always make sure you have a backup of files that you might want to revert to. Otherwise, if you ever mess something up badly, go to Persona for Arena Ultimax, go to Properties, or Manage, no, Properties, and then the local files and verify integrity of game files. With all that said and done, let's see if the music's actually replaced. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Hey, not bad. Picture in your head your own a pain in the as ass. well as your alter ego, your persona. Very well. 